Hi guys, Anita here, back again to give you some more tips on how to eat healthy. And today I'm going to talk specifically about snacking. So for once I'm not in the gym, I'm actually at home in my kitchen in Essex and going to try and bring some of my ideas to you on how you can snack healthy and really well in between meals. Now one, one advantage of snacking, and I don't mean the crisps and the crap and the chocolate and all the other you know sweets and rubbish that you can put into your body, the advantage of good snacking is that it can keep your metabolism st um, as, as, you know, stimulated, it can keep your blood sugar levels stable, keep your energy up you know, high throughout the day without those massive highs and lows, feeling tired or feeling really energetic one minute and just absolutely like you just want to completely collapse the next. Um, and also, it will help you with fat loss. Now, one thing that I really want to get my point across today is Eating little and often, between five and six times a day, in the right small portion sizes, will actually have a better effect with fat loss than eating one or two bigger meals a day. Now, people get obsessed about calories. They get obsessed about how much they weigh. At, that, at the end of the day, that's not important. As long as you're eating quality foods and eating it in the right amounts and the right um, uh, at, the, at the right times. Um, and what I mean by the right times is that you're eating sort of every you know three to four hours to keep those blood sugar levels stable. And the ways that you can do that is by combining a small amount of carbs and a small amount of protein with most of your meals. Now, for me personally, I eat um, you know between three and four servings of carbs a day, two to three servings of vegetables, um, but about four to five servings of protein. I tend to store body fat quite easily, so I tend to chuck out the, the heavier carbohydrates out of my last two meals of, of, of the day and have my carbs in the beginning part of the day, and that works for me really, really well. Some of my favorite carbs are things like um, gluten-free oats, um, rice cakes, rivetas, um, uh, sweet potato and baked potato, but I don't actually have a huge amount of them, and bananas is also another one of my favorite carbs, which I have straight after training. Uh, proteins. When I eat proteins, I go for uh, chicken, fish, oily fish, turkey, egg whites. That's my main sort of sources of protein. But when I'm busy and on the go, it's generally things like protein shakes that I will substitute with. And two of the protein shakes I've got here to show you today. One of them is the fantastic Viafit range from Viamax called Diet Whey. Um, it's really nice and low in calories, low in carbs. Good source of protein without making you bulky. So ladies, if you're looking for really, really good uh, protein to have uh, during the day if you're busy and on the go, that's a fantastic one to have. Don't be scared of having a good quality whey protein. They will not make you big and muscular and like, you know, um, the Incredible Hulk or anything like that. What they will do is provide your muscles with the amino acids, nutrients, and protein that it needs to actually build and keep your metabolism healthy. All right, another one of my favorites, which I put in my, um, my porridge every day, is this one here. It's the Biomax Premium Protein, which has got um, a lot of omegas in it. And um, anyone who knows, especially coming into winter, those omegas are really good for your joints. So that's one of my, of my uh, reasons why I opt for that in the morning in my porridge. And also because it tastes really nice as well. <laughs> Always a bonus. Okay, snacking. Let's get back to snacking. Here's some ideas. If you're trying to combine protein and carbs during the day, let's talk about portions. In terms of portions, if you put out your fist, clench it, that would equate to the amount of carbohydrates per snack or per meal that would be right for you. So that's talking about your rice cakes, your um, brown rice, sweet potato, baked potato, rovitas, oats, all those sorts of uh, complex carbohydrates, that would be the only amount that you'd need per meal or per snack. Protein is a little bit different on the other hand. Think P, P for palm, and that equates to the amount of protein that you should have. About the size of your palm, thickness of your palm, not including your fingers, and that would be about the right amount of protein for you per meal. Now, if you're trying to put on muscle or you're um, putting your body under a lot of stress from like, hard training, you will need a little bit more protein, okay? But that's a, this is just to give you an average and an idea of how much you should have. How to combine this for your snacks? It's actually quite easy. It's not that complex. Here's some ideas and some things that I can show you. Okay, I have two types of rice cakes here, and there's a good reason why. I've got some low-fat rice cakes some whole grain ones called callo, and often have those uh, during the day with, say, some low-fat cottage cheese, 
um, which makes a really delicious snack. Or sometimes instead of those, I'll have Rye Vedas. I also have my, mm, my absolute favorite. I love these. These are Snacker Jacks. They're caramel flavor. Okay, and you're probably thinking, mm, I wonder why she's going for caramel ones. But the reason why, um, straight after training, when you are, uh, when you're very, very uh, metabolic, you, your insulin's a lot higher, so it allows those sugars and everything to be smashed into your muscle and take um, all of the nutrients in there. So it's so fine to have a slightly simple sugar straight after training. Okay, so I will have these straight after training with my protein shake, so two or three of these, and that's absolutely that's a really good type of uh, low calorie carb to have. Now another another thing that I really enjoy having is natural um, unsalted nuts, like variation of almonds or sunflower seeds, things like that. I've got here, and I always have loads of these in my cupboard, things like almonds, always have containers of those. I have um, uh, crushed up sort of slivered almonds, which I put in cooking. Um, I have things like sunflower seeds, and I often have uh, Brazil nuts as well. All you need, because these are essential fats, they do contain a bit of protein, yes, but it's more of an, an, an essential fat. You only need about half, like about half to a small handful with a say a piece of fruit. That's another great snack. One of my favourites is bananas. Don't forget your fruits, whether it be bananas, apples, oranges. Um, melon, pineapple, all of those sorts of things contain natural sugars, so they are a type of car carbohydrate. So you wouldn't combine, say, bananas and rice together because obviously you'd be combining, say, two types of carbohydrates together. But instead of my caramel rice cake, sometimes I have a banana with my uh, protein shake after training, and that works really well too. Another one of my favorite good fats is organic peanut butter. I've got the whole earth one here, which is rather delicious. And I often have that on um, some rice cakes or rovitas, um, add it to my protein shake sometimes. And the good thing about good fats is they help to slow release the protein into your system. So late at night when you're trying to rest and let those muscles recover, one thing that you can actually do is put, um, say, some Udo's oil, which is an Omega oil, or something like a little a small amount. Now I mean a small amount, you're only talking about maximum a dessert spoonful of organic peanut butter into your protein shake, blend it up, gives it a beautiful flavor, and it will actually slow release the absorption of that protein into your system overnight. Okay, some other snacks. This is one of my favorites, it's a cookie. And you're thinking, hang on a second, what's she talking about cookies? It's a protein cookie. This one's really delicious, it's made by Biomax, and the flavor of it is chocolate orange. I'm slightly addicted to these, because so, when I, have, when I have one of these, I make sure that I kind of take one out, hide the rest of the box, and then have that with a cup of tea. Um, my favorite tea in terms of snacking, so if I want to sit there and um, have my protein cookie, which has got some oats in it too, so you've got a, a good ratio of carbs and protein in there, is vanilla red bush tea. I love this stuff. Caffeine free, if you're trying to get your water intake up, but you, but you love your tea, Try something like Red Bush or your normal um, uh, Red Bush tea or even some other herbal teas. And it's a really good way to just hydrate your body without the caffeine. Because the problem with caffeine, although it has does have some really good properties to it, you know, if you have like a black coffee straight before training, it can help to, you know, boost your metabolism. The problem with caffeine in too large amounts um, is it does have a very sort of dehydrating diuretic effect. So often for every cup of coffee or tea that you have, you should have a glass of water. Otherwise you'll be kind of letting out too much water if you know what I mean. <laughs> okay, other ideas for snacks. Um, you know, if you're vegetarian, you could go for, say, a couple of boiled eggs and an orange. You could go for, say, some light um, soup whether it be like a clear soup or a spinach soup, make sure you don't have the creams in the soups. You can have that with, say, some um, low-fat hummus and some vegetables. I mean, there's so many different ideas, but in terms of on the go, these are the things that I wanted to share because you can have them in the car easily. You can, you know, drink things, drink things like protein shakes if you're based in an office. You can have them straight after training. You can have them straight before bed. If you're busy with the kids, you know, you can munch them in the car on the way or, you know, they're, they're sort of quick and easy things to grab. And that's often things that people find really difficult is trying to snack when they're busy. So I hope that's given you guys a few ideas. If you've got any questions or any requests, 
um, or you know anything that you want me to kind of cover it's always good to have some uh, feedback I always get you know a lot of requests of people saying how do I do this how do I do that you know can you give me some ideas for this or that when I get time I mean I'm uh, you know I'll, I'll do my best to try and uh, collate some videos to help you and in the meantime try and adopt some of these ideas like I say it's about a lifestyle if you can adopt a good lifestyle you're gonna live a lot older and a lot healthier more likely and um, yeah you'll feel a whole lot better about yourself looking better inside and out so take care and I'll speak to you soon